Hi everybody. So I got a request to do some tutorials on how I do oscilloscope music. Um, I'm no expert certainly, but uh, been playing with it a lot lately. And uh, here's a few tips. Um, anybody with FL Studio can do what I'm going to show you. It's uh, everything is built in. In fact, uh, Citrus is a terrific tool for this uh, because it's got six oscillators, and you can uh, have them play off each other and make some cool stuff. So let me just jump in uh, with a couple quick points. Um, thing one is oscilloscope music is presentation an XY presentation of the left channel and the right channel and so as you do any of this you need to be keeping in mind that the uh, left and right in terms of the um, the presentation the X axis is the left channel and the up and down or the Y axis is the right channel okay so when you open up a, a citrus this is a default I have uh, one operator uh, it's 2x frequency right now um, it's a sine wave when you play it, you know, no surprise, simple sine wave. Um, this setup I have right now, this is J-Scope, which is a free VST. It's a terrific um, oscilloscope. I happen to have it set up with, with left and right channel showing separately. So if I turn all the way to the left, see it's showing the left. And if I turn all the way to the right, showing the right up top here so with that you can see as you design sound you can see what's happening with each of the channels um, this is a screen a, a Z game visualizer screen this is the vector scope um, it's it's this one here and uh, this is the one I like to use um, you can also use wave candy but uh, note that wave candy doesn't have the same orientation so let me I have a wave candy here just to show you um, if you open up Wave Candy, you see it's up and down. That's because um, the right channel increases horizontally up and to the right, and the left channel increases or excuse me diagonally up and to the left. And this presentation doesn't really work for oscilloscope music. You can certainly make music this way, but if you plan to output it as an audio and play it through an oscilloscope the orientation will be uh, 45 degrees off. So I don't tend to use wave candy for this type of thing. Go ahead and close this. Okay, so let's just jump in and make a couple sounds um, so you can see how this works. So a simple circle, that's an easy place to start. A uh, circle is two sine waves uh, out of phase being presented, so, and then panned. So right now, this is a single sine wave. If I play it, See down here, there's uh, in the vector scope preview. There's there's just a line. That's because this is uh, it's essentially mono. There's no panning, and if I pan it hard left, it's it's showing you the horizontal dimension as we mentioned earlier. So what I need is a second oscilloscope to put the vertical dimension in. So I'm just going to do that here. Again, this is a sine wave, two x frequency, and then I'm going to pan this one hard right. You see, this still doesn't work. And that's because, look at the uh, oscilloscope presentation here. These two waves are perfectly in phase, and so, it's, it's again, it's still mono. So in order to solve for that, you need to use this phase knob on the second wave. You just turn the phase knob up to 25%, and it'll push that wave out to the right. And essentially, it'll, it'll allow it to draw the circle. You see the circle here now. One side note, uh, Z Game Visualizer doesn't always show you a square for some reason. <laughs> Anywho, uh, so be alert to that. Um, as a side note, the J Scope does have another a left right version. If you center it on the screen, you can see again it's uh, working correctly. So there you go. Task one, uh, you solved how to do a circle. <laughs> so kind of boring. Um, one thing to note, any sound that you play is going to go uh, out the oscilloscope and therefore going to be part of your visual. So for instance, if I play a chord, I'm getting two frequencies and they're, and they're strobing against each other. We get this sort of mandala effect. 
And depending on, these are octaves. Octaves are stable. But you can actually, uh, you can tell Citrus to spin it a little bit. And right here. And it will rotate slightly. It's sort of it's moving through a frequency. It's in, um, further, you can change the frequency here and, and get that sort of effect as well. Uh, I don't want to change it too much. And even when you play just one note, you see the uh, sort of rotation. Okay. Um, so I think that's enough for this one. Um, this is just how to make a circle, how to get started. Uh, get your setup like this, save it as a template, and then you can always jump back in. Um, I'm going to do another one, maybe today, maybe later, uh, with some more complex shapes. But uh, play with this setup. Two, um, just two oscillators. Play with the shape. You can play with the uh, frequencies. You can play with the panning. So uh, just get used to this, play with it a bit, and uh, we'll see you next time.